We've covered quite a lot of information from users and manufacturers of pilot ladders in this video. Safety is my primary concern on this ship, and this applies to the crew and visitors, and includes the pilot. When the pilot board approaches the vessel, we want that pilot to be able to get on that pilot ladder fully secure and confident so that when he comes on the bridge he's in a positive state of mind. When you rig the pilot ladder, if you feel something is not quite right, hold on, we can always make alternative arrangements. At the end of the day, we all want to go home safely and that includes the pilot. Here we see two crew members inspecting the pilot ladder before use. We see them checking the condition of the side ropes, the chocks and the steps. They're looking for any damage, contamination or loose fittings, anything that would make the ladder unsafe. Now they're checking the additional equipment that's used along with the pilot ladder. The life buoy and light should be nearby and a heaving line and man ropes ready for use. None of these extra items may actually be used but they should be standing by in case they're needed. The side ropes of the pilot ladder are made with high quality rope, which allows the ladder to be deployed over the steel deck edge. So far we've seen that the ladder and equipment need to be checked before use. Now we'll see how to safely rig a ladder. The International Maritime Pilots Association poster is displayed on most ships. The information it contains comes from SOLAS and other IMO resolutions and shows the correct way to rig a pilot ladder. It's considered as industry best practice. The ladder should be deployed on the flat side of a vessel's hull with enough length to reach the deck of the pilot boat. This height would normally be advised by the pilot boat or pilot station. If the ladder is a bit too low, the boat's crew should lift the tail onto the deck of the pilot boat. This is to avoid possible damage if the ladder is caught between the ship's hull and the edge of the pilot boat's deck. The relative movement of the two vessels could then result in the lower steps being crushed or the ladder being dragged forwards or backwards and damaging the side ropes. If man ropes are required, rig them so that they hang outside the ladder, one down the full length of each side, as shown on the poster. The ladder must always be safely secured on the vessel, using the ladder's side ropes and proper strong points on the vessel's deck. It's not acceptable to rely on a spreader resting against the inside of the ship's rails, or by placing a step under a hook-shaped plate. If the ladder rises over a bulwark, make sure there are bulwark stanchions fitted and a well-secured bulwark ladder giving access to the deck. It is common practice to rig the accommodation ladder in combination with the pilot ladder. This is actually required when the vessel's freeboard is greater than 9 meters. Rig the ladder adjacent to the accommodation ladder lower platform and make sure it extends at least 2 meters above so the pilot has a handhold when about to step onto the platform. Make sure that the accommodation ladder lower platform is at least five meters above the sea surface to stop the pilot boat from fouling it. And finally, if the vessel is able to, attach the accommodation ladder to the hull to stop it moving away from the vessel's side. It is required that a responsible person has to check the ladder before it is used. Only when they are satisfied that everything is safe for the pilot will they inform the bridge. The bridge team will then in turn advise the pilot boat that the ladder is ready for use. When you see an officer checking the pilot ladder, do not feel that it means that the crew are not trusted to do the job properly. Regulations require a responsible person to perform a check, which reflects upon how seriously the safe rigging of a pilot ladder is seen to be. The responsible person will expect to see the ladder lashed properly in its designated position on the side of the vessel with the other equipment on deck close by. They must confirm everything is in order and report the same to the bridge team. 
At night, the deck and vessel's side must be well lit. Overside lights should always be angled so as not to dazzle a pilot boat crew or the pilot on the ladder. With most vessels, the pilot boat will usually approach the vessel from astern, so the lights should be shining down and in a forwards direction. That was a brief summary of how to rig the pilot ladder. If you follow the information on the poster, there should always be safe boarding and landing. If the pilot considers the ladder to be unsafe, he may refuse to board. All pilot ladders, although they'll be in a different position along the ship's side, the actual ladder itself should always be of the approved IMO design. Before I actually attempt to go up the pilot ladder, the, the boatman would test the ladder, he'd give it a couple of good thumps with his feet, um, just to make sure it's, it's rigged correctly, although you can't, we can't see on the deck of the ship, but that's a good test. And then if all looks good, and the course is good, the motion of the pilot boat is okay, then we'll both agree to go for it at a safe point. Good morning, Good morning partner. Please. Thank you, pilot. Come board you three. Thank you. The officer also has a responsibility when the pilot is leaving the ship. This time he will escort him from the bridge to the ladder, monitor his safe descent, and once he is safely on board the pilot boat, advise the bridge. Once the pilot ladder is finished with, check it for damage and then stow it away in a place of safety. A deck locker is the ideal place, one that is dry, free from contaminants and the possibility of damage. If a ladder is stored outside, it needs a cover to stop the sun's rays from degrading the side ropes. What happens to a damaged ladder in need of repair? Here is some expert advice from a pilot ladder manufacturer. If you need to replace a step within the ladder, you can get them from an approved manufacturer. As you can see, I've got a replacement step here, and the grooves are in the top, so that will enable you, when you're at sea, to put the step in, like so. When you replace the, the step, you can't put the old chuck in because the rope is obviously wide apart. So we, we as a manufacturer, supply with the step chocks. So as you can see, when you put your modern weapon on, that will secure the step in place. When you're on board and you need to take out the old step, what you want to do is just use a saw, cut down the step, avoiding the rope so you don't cut it, and it'll just fall apart take it away and put back in with the new step. The new step was then put into position where the old step has come out and then whipped. And then the ladder's good to go. There should only ever be two replacement steps added to a pilot ladder. Condemn a ladder if more than two steps need replacing. There are some bad practices with the making up of pilot ladders. Sometimes the steps are held in place with bulldog grips. This is not only against the regulations, but it also makes it difficult to climb the ladder safely. Finally, never paint the steps of the ladder as this makes them slippery.